Hello and welcome to the Stargazer Podcast. Once again, I'm Monty. I'm Corey. And uh, Sid's out this week again. She's, uh, um, what's she doing again? She's like with her brother or something? Yeah, I think that's what you told me. Yeah. We got not a lot. We, we might cut it short today. Maybe not. Who knows? We'll figure it out. Depends but. on if we get talking about random stuff. Yeah. Um, how have you been these past couple weeks? I'm hanging in there. Hanging trying in to there. get life together, really. Yeah. Aren't we all? Yeah. You had a you had a pretty interesting night last night, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You you went you went out with a uh, Eli and a couple of his buds, and you all went fucking crazy for a bit. I didn't go crazy. You you went Prince nineteen seventy eight. I'm not sure if that's the year. Uh, let's go crazy, crazy. No, I just got really talkative and wanted ah, to cuddle. <laughs> yeah. All right. That was my night. That was interesting, and I stayed here in my cave <laughs> and edited. And this is going to no, sound mean, but is that surprising? No. No. It's really not. I'm not the I'm not the type to just, you know, you whatever. Don't, you don't go out much, but hey, that's I, I okay. Don't. I don't. I really okay. don't. I, I like to, I like to, st- my cave is nice. It's cold <laughs> and dark and there's a lot of blinky lights and that's exactly my element. Yeah. It's, it's Your nice. Your computer's. Computer. Computer. What computer. about it? Computer. You have your computer in your cave as well. I do. That's those are the blinky lights. Ah. <laughs> I'm not you know talking that... about the. Okay, that yeah. made more sense. Yeah. Cool. The the LED. If they were blinking, someone would be having a seizure, and it would probably be me. Anyway. You forget. <laughs> yeah. If if the lights were on and blinking really fast, like LED yeah. strip lights. If those were on and blinking fast, I'd be dead on the ground. Yeah. You would just be like, hey, cool. And you'd drop dead. It Pretty wouldn't be a much. heart attack or a stroke or anything. It would just be instant, instant dead. Instant kill. Insta kill. <sighs> Fuck, I'm, no, I'm not going to do the voice today. I'll do it do a it. different day. Do it. Insta kill. Cool. <laughs> I've never even played Call of Duty. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I Whatever. really don't know. Um, um, you want to start with, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll start with, uh, the, once again, hopefully it's temporary COVID news, uh, worldwide, there've been 500 million vaccines administered. Uh, hopefully that keeps going up. Uh, I think my mother is getting hers next week or something. I don't I'm, know. I'm, I have, I'm looking at a, you as if you know, yeah, I'm not I, sure. I don't know. I'm trying, I'm trying to bounce. I'm yeah. trying to ping back and forth, but I know, um, one of our friends who hasn't appeared on the podcast, so I won't say their name. Mm-hmm. I know at least one of our friends got their vaccine yesterday. Mm. And I'm not scheduled, but that's just because I don't go anywhere anyway. But mm-hmm. as soon as I can figure that out, I will be getting mine too. <laughs> yeah, I'll get mine whenever they're available and I can. Yep. So that's... There's that. COVID news. That's COVID news. COVID news. That's mm. this has been COVID news. I'm <laughs> pressing all the wrong buttons. Hang on, I'm using the wrong keyboard. Ah, that'd make more sense. That would. Um, I was I was kind of wondering be, for a second. Son of a bitch. Hang on. Jesus Christ. This is. Uh, ah, uh, hang on. He's struggling. Okay. He's, yeah, I'm working it, on it'll it. It'll be okay. So, um, other world news. Greece celebrates uh 200 years of independence from the ottoman empire as of god what what day was that i think i think that was thursday he's doing Maybe. research we'll find I'm out i'm doing research. research i'm definitely not just looking it up on wikipedia he's looking it up on wikipedia no i'm not i just said i was where'd it go <laughs> did you hear yourself you, you just said you said and i quote i just said i was Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused now, but I it's fine. I can't find it. I can't find it. Um, I don't. I don't know what day it was, but basically, you know, Greece independence, two hundred years. Yep. You know, that's cool. That's pretty fucking neat. Yeah. Happy uh, um, Independence Day, Greece. Uh, uh, let, let's hope for at least two more. Yeah. Um, that that's just the joke. That's not like a diss on Greece or anything. All right. Um. I'm sure everyone's heard about this at this point. Yeah. Do you want to take this one? You can take it if you want, but I'll comment on it. Yeah. It's funny to me. So a ship, like a boat ship, not like a spaceship, called Ever Given, which is, I think, 
It says one of the largest ships in the world. If I had to guess it, I think it'd be like fourth or fifth. I have no clue, man. Um, I don't know about boats. Yeah, you've probably heard everywhere about this. One of the largest ships in the world runs aground in the Suez Canal and blocks everything. A serious fuck ton. Like, global trade is just dead. No pun. Well, no pun very much intended. Dead in the water. (laughs) And a lot (laughs) of shit. Is gonna start getting more expensive. Oh yeah, there's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of fucking God, everything. Fucking, everything's gonna go up. Because... Furniture, clothes, mm-hmm. toys, video games, a fucking bunch of food. Shit. All because this fucker everything. got stuck. Just because one ship was just like, oh, whoops, and then it just decided so, to park sideways. So then, how are they? How are they planning on removing that? Uh, I have no. And how much would idea? that cost? Is my like, see, my here's the thing. Whole question. What is the quickest and easiest way to get this unstuck? You cut it apart. You cut it apart. But that costs a lot of money. And you can't really cut a boat. You can't that, just, like, yeah, de- just build a thing and deconstruct it because then it's going to take longer to, like, yeah. haul it out and remove it yeah, and fucking do everything else. So, what are so, they going to do? I don't know. Are build a new, <laughs> build a fucking build new, a new canal. Build a new river, I guess. Oh God, <laughs> that's gonna take another. This river fucking, doesn't exist now. Yeah. So um. Uh, but, uh, uh, what was my idea the other day? Uh, sorry about the lawnmower, by the way. Yeah. If 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 we could stop that, we would. But, but we can't. Mm, so we won't. It had to be. It had to be right now, and it had to be today of all days. Yeah, are you really that surprised? No. Timing. Impeccable. No, it's literal. What? What is it? Um, uh, Murphy's law. Anything that can go wrong will, will go, go wrong. wrong. Yeah. Literally, uh, while you were upstairs, like minutes before we were supposed to go live, the internet went down for a brief oh, second, no. and I swear, if the, if I it had stayed screamed. down, I would have just punched a fucking hole through this desk. I would have screamed. It's it's not good. Um, that was an interesting voice. But, um, the, yeah, that boat is probably going to be stuck for a while. P- the, I'm interested like, to see how they get it out. I've heard. What they do. I've no, uh, I've not read this anywhere, but I've heard that a lot of ships are just going around yeah, Africa. Yeah, like all around I've the bottom. That. Like they used to do for the fucking spice trade. Yeah. Or whatever Ooh, the fuck me. it was. Um, Which I guess is. Uh, uh, At least, like, there's it's a, it's a solution. there's a workaround. Yeah. But there are there are setbacks. You know, there it, it's gonna be, it's gonna take longer. It's gonna cause, you know, prices to still go up mm-hmm. because we still have a fucking boat stuck in the canal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, but money, is, money for everything is gonna go up by mm. boatloads. Uh, anyway, give me a rim. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. No. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine cutting it there. That'd be God, that'd funny. be great. End of podcast. No. That'd be kind of funny. Um, five minutes later, start podcast as yeah, if start, it never start happened. It never ha- <laughs> yeah. we, we just go quiet for five minutes. Everyone thinks it's over. <laughs> Welcome to the Stargazer podcast. Welcome to the Stargazer podcast. <laughs> I'm Monty. Uh, I'm Corey. <laughs> uh, so there's this ship. No. Um, anyway, to follow that note, uh, that was yeah. a lot of... That was... That happened. It's just so interesting. Yeah. I, I really want to see what they do to fix that. Yeah. Um, uh, was, I had an idea the other day. Or not the other day. I had an idea like a few minutes ago, but I don't want to say a few minutes ago because it, ma- it makes it sound more interesting if I say it the other day. Yeah. But say they, they're they like, okay, we can't move this thing. Yeah. What do we do? Then they're like, all right, get all of the boats to turn around and leave. Oops. Evacuate the surrounding cities. I don't know where the Suez Canal is. And then they're just like, all right. And then they just drop a big ass rock That'd be and just like crunch it into the thing. And then crunch. it just becomes a part of the Suez Canal. Interesting. That I don't, I don't see it working, but like, it's a yeah. cool idea. Um, they could blow it up. I mean, you're not wrong. Like that, that'd probably break it and get it, get it out of the way. Mm-hmm. Maybe. I don't know. I um, want to start I'm, on internet. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a boatist. You what are start they called? On... Naval men? I, I, mm. I'm I'm thinking of Tintin when when the captain, you know, when he was actually sober and didn't recognize Tintin, he's like, Plain? What no, is, I'm a naval man plain, myself. No, I'm a naval man myself. I what is I this peculiar liquid? It's water. water. What will they come up with next? I fucking 
such a good movie. God, such thank a you. good movie. I okay, that was okay. This is this is the Tin Tin tangent. Yeah, that was directed by Steven Spielberg, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, I watched that movie at my mom's house like last week. But here's the weird thing: if yeah. you look up movies directed by Edgar Wright. Tintin comes up because mm-hmm. he he had a lot to do with it. Yeah, he I was guess? like I guess he was like executive producer. I'm, I'm lead a fucking something. I don't he might have been he might have been a DP what or something. <laughs> I don't know or not DP. That's the wrong thing. Like assistant director or something. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know, know. He had a lot to do with the making. Yeah. Of the, it. There's a, there's a big Edgar Such Wright good, fingerprint in that movie. <laughs> Such a good fucking movie though. Amazing. <laughs> The the fucking, fucking, they're on the plane. It's like, we're running on fumes, Captain. Fumes. fumes. And he fucking burps and just, God. like, destroys the plane and it lights it on so fire. It was so fucking funny. I was worried it wasn't going to work when, you know, they didn't have the alcohol. But uh-huh. then he fucking burped and it worked too well. Yeah. Uh. Such a good movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch um, mm-hmm. Adventures of Tintin. It's on Amazon Prime. Yeah. We're not sponsored. It's just a good movie. Yeah, it's just a good fucking movie. It's funny. Mm-hmm. It's so, funny. um, I feel like this is more in your territory. For which Uh, one? there's a, there's a new AJR album that yeah. just came out. Yeah, I've listened to a few songs, mostly because of our friends, Eli. Mm-hmm. Everyone has heard Eli. Yes. He's been on here, so I can say Eli's name. Mm-hmm. But I was hanging out with Eli and friends yesterday, and so I heard some of their new album because of being around them it's pretty good mm-hmm. it's actually really interesting i like it yeah um it's interesting along the lines of music i i can't really say much about the ajr album because i've only heard like a couple songs but in the music industry currently um there's been there's been a music video released i think it was released yesterday or the day before or something and it's little it, it's lil nas and if you haven't seen that music video, it's 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 interesting. Um, that was the first thing I saw when I got to Eli's house yesterday. Is that where that meme came from? Which meme? The, uh, L- I can't say his name properly, and I Lil refuse Nas? to do Lil Nas X. Lil Nas? Is that his name? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> is I that mean, where the... You're where, trying. Is that, is that where that meme came from, where he's, like, on a pole? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's in the music video. Jesus Christ. Basically... The, the song is called Montero. It's pretty It's pretty catchy. It's pretty cool. The music video is fucking... I, I didn't expect it. It was crazy. It was really just interesting. But one of our friends said a very interesting thing in regards to it. Um, I don't, I don't want to repeat it right now. Should I? Go for it. Okay. So... <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it and take it seriously. Just there's this there's this part where he's on a stripper pole. Yeah. And his bulge is very noticeable. Uh. And our friend said, "Damn, this man's got a whole subway foot long in there." Fucking so, hell. <laughs> so So that's basically a whole my $5. <laughs> So that's my whole takeaway from the music video. That's Jesus the only thing Christ. I remember. No, I remember other parts of it, but the the part that stood out to me most was that moment when my when when our friends said that and God. just mm, I so entertaining. I, but I mean, a lot of people really like the music video, but uh, Lil Nas is getting a lot of backlash from Christians. Who who isn't getting backlash from Christians? That's true. That's true. But I mean, it's not that surprising. Not to shit on Christians. Not that surprising. Christian. On who's Christian? I'm gonna move past that. Yeah. Just. I, I had a shovel in my hand. I'm just gonna put it down. Yeah. Um. You wanna a quick a quick thing on that yeah. little Nas tangent. Yeah. Which I am a very <laughs> I am a firm believer in the way. Uh, Nico from Corridor pronounces his name, hmm. which I, I will. All right, I gotta say this with a straight face. Do it. Lil Nas X. <laughs> that's how that's how Nico from Corridor oh, pronounces gosh. it, and I will forever pronounce it like that. I go back and forth with how I pronounce things. So not, I just I don't know. I could be saying it wrong. I I'm sorry if people you know listen to this later mm-hmm. on and be like you're saying it wrong. I I'm just saying it how. Someone said it yesterday, and I was like, oh, right. okay, I'll say it like that. Like, so Don't get me wrong. I'm not... I don't hate, like, rap. Yeah, it... The thing is... Here's the thing. With this artist, 
Their music is not exactly my thing. I mean, some of it's cool, some of it's catchy, but it's not really my thing. You know, I can I can appreciate some of the artistic aspects of mm-hmm. their music and the video. It's just not my thing. So, you know, if you want to go watch it, watch it, enjoy it right. if you want. But, you know, I'm not trying to say what's good music versus what's bad. I'm saying, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. Personally, if I need to look up lyrics to your song to understand what you're saying, I don't like it. <laughs> Well, Th- see, that's my take. I I understand that, and I would feel the same way. The only the only thing with that is that I have trouble processing what I'm hearing. So sometimes I have to look up lyrics just to make sure I'm hearing it correctly and processing it right. So yeah, I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So mm. anyway, you want to move but, on um, to we we talked about AJR and yeah. went on a tangent. Oh. But real I'll quick, you, real quick, backtracking yeah. to that, there was a song in that album featuring the Blue Man Group. Yeah. And I didn't know, because Eli was like, oh, this new AJR album drops. I want to come over and listen on your giant speakers. And I was like, all right, sure. And he comes over and he's playing the song and he's like, there's a guest on this album and you're going to really like it. And uh-huh. I went, okay. I don't, And I didn't know who it was. So I was trying to guess. I was like, is it, is it an SP? Is it Watsky? Or uh, I don't know who it is. Mm-hmm. And then... The tubes started playing, and yeah. I was like, "Wait a second, <laughs> this sounds familiar. Mm. Is it the fucking Blue Man Group?" I bet you were really excited about. That. I was. I was That's pretty awesome. excited. I heard That's it go. Cool. Like, I don't know how, like in detail they are on the song. I know mm-hmm. they're definitely on that part, but that part's like not probably not even thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they do the instrumental for the whole thing, but. It's it's pretty fucking good. Yeah. I like I've I've missed the Blue Man Group. I haven't seen or listened to or thought about the Blue Man Group since I was 8 maybe. That's that's valid. They did a they did a concert here in uh unnamed city. Yeah. <laughs> a while ago when I was 8 and uh it was me, my dad, my uncle and maybe my aunt. Uh, we all went to see them and, uh, I got a picture with one of them and they put a blue thumbprint on my face. Oh, that's so cool. And, uh, that picture's still lying around somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'd like to see that. That sounds interesting. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that was the last time I ever interacted with or, uh, saw or heard Blue Man Group. Mm -hmm. So they came up, come back up. I don't know. Also weird. The, uh, the day he came over, I think it was yesterday, maybe he came over. I was wearing the shirt that I had gotten from that concert. That's actually so funny. Or I don't think it was the, it was a shirt that we got at that concert, but I don't think it was the shirt that I wore on that day. Cause mm. that day I had, it was probably like a medium shirt. And if I tried to put that on, I'd get my head stuck. <laughs> I have a very big head, which I'm sure you didn't need to know about that. Not, no, didn't, didn't need to, didn't need me to clarify that for you. Me having a big head was pretty obvious with, from Larg the person. No, I'm just, I'm, I'm just an asshole. <laughs> Larg boy. Larg boy. Larg boy. Um. Larg boy, small boy. Yeah. Podcast. Um, podcast. <laughs> That's Thanks the for title. watching. No. That's the title. Larg, Larg boy, boy, small, small boy, boy podcast. podcast. Larg boy, comma, <laughs> small boy, podcast. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, also, Podcast. this has actually been uh, coming in for, uh, not coming in, this has been around for a minute. Mm-hmm. Uh, Suicide Squad 2. Or, sorry, not Suicide Squad 2. The Suicide Squad. Which, little Too- nitpicky, <laughs> <No>. <laughs> li- little nitpicky, that's kind of annoying, but mm-hmm. fine. It's like, it's like the opposite of... I'm going to get into a deep tangent here. I mean, go for it. We have time. Uh, it's the opposite of Now You See Me with uh, Jesse Eisenberg and uh, one of the Francos and the other two characters. Never seen it. And the sequel. Now, you've never seen or heard of these movies, have you? No. Okay. This first movie... <laughs> Sheltered Child. No, no, no. <laughs> this, this first movie is called Now You See Me. Yes. Right? Yes. What would its sequel be called? It's a show about don't. magicians. Now you don't. The, sh- the second one would be called Now You Don't, yeah. right? Do you want to know what the second one's called? Oh, no. Now You See Me 2. No! <laughs> no! They missed a perfect opportunity. Yeah, it's it's part of the... Na- God damn! Uh, like, I'm, I'm, I'm stealing a little bit from Dan Harmon, but... 
it's 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 not a now you see it's not a title it's a now you see me mm-hmm. movie so uh what was it he said something like i was in canada and he saw it on a theater years after it had come out and he saw now you see me two on the thing and he said oh that makes so much sense it's a canadian movie so they play it here all the time, uh, and the next showing is at two o'clock. <laughs> but uh, it was a second move. But uh, and then he made another joke that was like, "It's part. It's not. It's not now. You see, it's part of the now you franchise. Did you see the fifth one? It's called Now You Diamond Heist." <laughs> damn. Um, uh, overall, the movie's uh, garbage. But this is like the op. This is like the opposite of that. Yeah. Instead of Suicide Squad and Suicide Squad Two, it's the Suicide Squad. It just makes make... no fucking yeah, sense. No. It, but I mean, um, whatever. Yeah, they have. Uh, I don't want to say they've stolen, mm-hmm. but they stole um, Michael Rooker from who is Yondu from Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. In case you don't know that, because I, I know you don't know actors that well. Yeah, I don't. They stole uh, John Cena, who I didn't see in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Um, they stole... Oh, God, who was in it? Hold on. Give me a second. Um, John Cena. They have Pete Davidson. They also stole Idris Elba, who was Heimdall, mm-hmm. in case you didn't know that. I remember um, you talking about Nathan him. Nathan Joel Kinnaman, he's still in there. Uh, blah, 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 Jack Courtney again. Uh, Taika Waititi, who was Korg and also directed Thor Ragnarok. Mm. And um, uh, and they also stole Sean Gunn, who was Kraglin from Guardians. And did you know that su- The Suicide Squad is going to be directed by James Gunn, the same man who did the original two Guardians? Wow. So. That's actually. This is, this is my theory, and I'm probably wrong here because this makes no sense, but this is my headcanon, my personal headcanon. Marvel is slowly trying to take over DC. <laughs> I they heard... got James Gunn to direct this movie, yeah. and they have Heimdall, Korg, yeah. Yondu and Kraglin. I mean, I could understand that then. And but one thing is, I, I don't know if it's true or not, but apparently at one point in time, it was just something I heard recently, um, DC offered, you know, their characters to Marvel like they offered to sell them. Huh. And they didn't. But I don't know if it's true. It's just something that someone told me recently. Hmm. I don't know if it's true. I might look into that later. I wouldn't, like, 100% believe that, but that's not, like, totally out of the question. Yeah, but I don't know. But, like, and I'm not talking, like, a while ago, like, oh, so many years ago. I'm talking, like, so many years ago. Yeah. You mean back, like, before the movies? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay. That that does make sense, because I feel like there were a couple times that DC were, like, kind of on the questionable side of, Mm -hmm. oh, are we going to be able to reach out here, or are we just going to fall back and dissolve Yeah. kind of thing? I hit the desk. Um, and I feel like maybe at that point they were like, hey, Marvel, I know we had our we have our rivalry, mm-hmm. but we want these characters to stay alive. We'd love to work for you. I feel I feel like that and, would be a general thing. Yeah, but it's not like it's something it's something that I I'm curious now that you've mentioned, you know, all the Marvel actors in yeah. in this movie. I'm I'm curious to see how that's gonna go. Mm-hmm. I'm curious to see how fans are going to react to that. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's an interesting thing. It's yeah. an interesting thing to sit back and watch. Yeah, because, uh, by the way, DC uh, stands for Detective Comics. I that's, forgot that's way, that. That's I knew that at one point. Was. So every time someone says DC Comics, they're saying Detective Comics Comics. <laughs> that's that's the thing that I wanted to throw out. But That's kind of funny. But, um... Uh, DC and Marvel, I feel, are nowhere... They're not, like, sworn enemies. They're not, like, they're, sharks in the jets. He, they're just, like, uh, rivalry, haha. Here's the thing. The way I see it, they're not even on the same level. It's like, yeah. I don't... I don't sit down and choose to watch DC movies. Exactly. I don't. I really don't. Th- there, there have been but a few times. Because you've mentioned that this is going to be directed by James Gunn and it have, yeah. you know, Marvel actors, mm-hmm. I'm actually like, like, hmm, maybe I should watch this because I'm curious. Mm-hmm. 
And I, I, I kind of want to know. I want to see how it plays out. I mm-hmm. want to see how it goes. The, but I just... Like you said, I would never sit down and watch a DC the movie. The only times I've sat down and watched DC movies are when you've put on random ass movies yep. and been like, hey, what about this? And I've been I, like, I don't care. I wanted... I, I, there was one point I sat down and said, I want to watch Man of Steel from yeah. 2013. That was before everything DC went to... Sorry, DC fans. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, but but no, um, Wonder Woman was good. I, I really liked Wonder Woman. It. Um, it's pretty good. We'll, we'll watch it sometime. Um, okay. The second See, Wonder Woman... See, I don't choose to watch DC movies. He chooses yes. for me. Yes. And um, I just agree. Both of the Wonder Womans were pretty good, mm-hmm. um, in my opinion, and I know those might be of the minority in the opinion. I mean, um, I don't know. Man of Steel was all right. There is no Batman movie with Bruce... Nope, I'm thinking Bruce Wayne. Uh, ben Affleck. That's <laughs> the name mean, I'm thinking of. you're not wrong. Uh, but I, I got the B's mixed up. Yeah. I was thinking Ben Affleck. I know what you mean, um, man. There's no solo Batman movie. Suicide Squad, or in the words of my old driving instructor from four and a half years ago, the worst movie of all time. And what else is there? Shazam. Shazam's another one. That's right? one I've seen. Yeah, That's Shazam's in, seen. The, I... in the EU. I didn't really care for it that much. Yeah. Oh, it was kind of... Aquaman. That was the last one. I haven't seen Aquaman either. Why the fuck? Th- this is a big grievance. And again, this is a really long tangent. Here we go. Go ahead. I'm... No, we're still on the tangent. Yeah, and no. I'm tangenting on the I tangent. Know. We'll eventually go. get it back I'm gonna, around. I'm going to take a sip yeah. of water. Why in the ever-loving fuck... Here we go. ...did DC decide, we just made Justice League... With the guy that made the first Avengers movie, the first two Avengers movies. Now let's make an Aquaman movie. <laughs> Aquaman. Of the six members of the Justice League, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, The Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman. In your opinion, do you not know any of those characters? No, I know. All you know of those every characters. one of those characters. Which one of those characters is the most boring? Do not answer based on what you think I want to hear. Let me think about it for a second. Honestly, let's see. I kind of used to like Batman a little mm-hmm. bit. Let's, but let's it work kinda, backwards. Yeah, that's what I'm going Superman. With. Cool, right? Superman's pretty cool. He's, he's all right. I actually liked Man of Steel, you know? Mm-hmm. Superman's an okay character, but still doesn't have my attention that often. Mm-hmm. For the, also, for the sake of argument, let's get rid of Superman and Wonder Woman yeah. f- because they already have their own movies. Yes. So we have four characters to choose from, Batman, Flash, Cyborg, and Aquaman. I actually don't know Cyborg. Cyborg, That's one that I forgot. Uh, Cyborg was, I don't remember his name, but he was a, uh, he was a kid in, a, in like high school or something who went through a terrible accident yeah. and like all of him, all, See, the that only thing that's left of him is like head, upper right arm, yeah. a little bit of his chest. That's it. He has nothing is, else. The thing is, that sounds interesting. Exactly. That really does sound interesting. The Flash is a kid whose dad was uh, wrongly convicted of a crime, and mm-hmm. he also has this thing called the Speed Force, which lets him go. He's Quicksilver. Ah. Uh, but instead of... Quicksilver, but, but not But Marvel. it's electricity. Yeah. Uh, instead of mutant. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know Batman. And yeah. one of the most popular superheroes in the world. Uh, and Aquaman is just an Atlantean. Aquaman, you mean Fish Boy? Yeah, of those fish four, man. of those four, Batman, Flash, Cyborg, Aquaman, who are you least interested in finding out more about? Aquaman, because he's exactly. just Fish Boy. It is he's fish. just Fish Boy. He can talk. Like, don't get me wrong, Jason Momoa, fucking awesome. Yeah. Here's the thing. I really now that you mentioned Cyborg, I really want to see that. Like, exactly. I, I want to see that as you want to find out more about Cyborg. Want... You want to find out more about the Flash. You want a solo see, Batman the... movie with here's Ben Affleck thing. and not. God, I forgot his name. Robert Pattinson. Here's the thing. The two that I really care about out of that group is um, Cyborg and the Flash. Those right. are the two that interest me. Batman would be my exactly. next one. There have been a hundred like Batman, Batman movies. There have been a There's thousand been Batman movies. I used to like Batman, and there were, like, different things that I liked. Mm-hmm. And so I could get back into that if there was, like, a solo movie. That I feel like that would be kind of neat. Exactly. If I was, like, feeling up for that. But Aquaman's, like... I've had people ask me, hey, you want to watch Aquaman? And I've said no. 
Because I right. haven't felt like... It, it's I, just a fish man. I, 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 I know people who like that movie are going to come at me for that, but it's just fish boy. Yeah, there was one point where I said... <sighs> what did I say? I need to watch Aquaman because if my future is in film, mm-hmm. then I need to put aside all biases. Understandable. And the bad guy in Aquaman was Black Manta, which, okay, iconic Aquaman villain, but, all right, I'll move past it, fine. Uh, Amber Heard's in it, but at the time, that wasn't a big deal. And now it is. And then I found out that, I don't remember who it was, but some alt-rock band Mm -hmm. did a cover of Africa by Toto, For this movie. This movie takes place in Venice, Italy and fucking Atlantis. Then... Why why? do you give a shit about fucking Africa? Africa. That song came on the radio when I was going to get my hair cut yesterday. And I, I had my sister with me. And I was just like, do you know this song? And she went, what is this? And I literally just... I just stopped. Yep. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Africa's pretty cool. There's it's, a country named it, Chad. Yeah, I know. And I know. But in the context of Aquaman, Africa is pointless. Yeah. Hang on. Go ahead. I guess. I was just. I was just. <coughs> bless. I was oh, just talking. Fuck. It. It's just. I went on a slight tangent about hearing it on the car radio. Yeah. Just because we were talking about Africa at that point, my little sister didn't really know it until I until I was like, you'll recognize it. When they get to, like, the chorus. Yeah. And she was like, oh, I do know this. And it's I went, this mm, song. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you understand now. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. But um, also, a little thing about the Snyder Cut that I didn't know. Mm. Do you know what an aspect ratio is? No. Okay. See this monitor right yes. in front of you? That monitor is at an aspect ratio of 16 by 9. Okay, yeah. That is the uh, summarized. It's nineteen twenty by ten eighty. That is a that is a widescreen aspect ratio. You could go sixteen ten for widescreen wider screen films like Avengers. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or if you had a smaller screen, you know, older screens that are more square. Mm-hmm. Those are four by three aspect ratio. Mm-hmm. Most movies are in uh, sixteen nine or sixteen ten widescreen. Yeah. Right. The Snyder Cut is in 4.3, which means you get big-ass bars on either side of the monitor. Wonderful. That's funny, isn't it? Mm Mm-hmm. So, um, also, in the ending of Justice League, there's... Or, not Justice League. um, No, it is Justice League. Snyder's Cut. There's a post-credit scene of... An apocalyptic wasteland Mm -hmm. where apparently Superman turned evil. Interesting. And there's a bit where Batman goes up to Jared Leto's Joker and people are saying that he's uh, like kind of stealing from Heath Ledger and um, uh, the new guy, uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Um, But people, I also heard someone joke that he's in fucking Justice League longer than he's in Suicide Squad. (laughs) I just wanted to share that. That's but, kind of funny. Uh, I believe that tangent's also, he's going to be in the new Suicide Squad. Yeah. Pr- probably for even less time. <laughs> so. I I think that, again, like I said, just because um, there will be Mar- Marvel actors in it, and the director, James Gunn, was who was yeah. that? Yeah. I feel like that's one that I'll actually be interested in watching because I want to see how they mm-hmm. do it. I want to see how, how it goes yeah basically it's something i want to just observe but yeah mm-hmm. so i that's the end of that tangent yeah. i think, I think we're also circled. i feel like you may have heard the name james gunn before and you just don't yeah. recognize it no the thing is it sounds very familiar yeah. think back to like 2017 or 18 i don't remember exactly when this was okay but a little bit after guardians 2 came out mm-hmm. people on t- this people on twitter were like hey who are we going to dig up? Whose past are we going to dig up today? James Gunn it is. So they go in the past and he made like a bunch of old, like really old 
uh, things he did were like a bunch of like dead baby jokes or whatever, which, mm-hmm. um, who, who the fuck cares? Not he's, me. he's directing now. It doesn't matter. That's not his thing now. Um, but people are like, oh, uh, this is, uh, this is old. We, or whatever it was, uh, blah, blah. And, um, uh, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. Uh. Uh, they found all those old jokes and they're like, oh, James yeah. Gunn's a bad person. Cancel oh, him. No. Get him off of that. Cancel him. I don't even know that, do that, that that was a thing then. But he's like, oh, whatever. And then Disney was like, okay, so James Gunn's not directing Guardians anymore. We're going to get some new guy. Um, then Guardians went on hold for a while. And then later, by the way, James Gunn is going to be back to direct all the other mm-hmm. Guardians of the Galaxy stuff, which is a yeah. good move in my opinion. But uh, I guess he's also doing Suicide Squad. I think that's neat. Yeah. I really, I really want to observe and see how that is. Mm-hmm. If um, I may. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of Twitter scandals. Oh yeah. Uh, I think last week this was, or maybe a little bit into this week. Not, I remember not e- hearing about it. Yeah. I think I heard about it. It was either Tuesday when we were hanging out with Eli, uh-huh. or Sunday when we were hanging out with Eli. Right. Not even a week long scandal has uh, now been cleared up. Nothing actually went wrong uh, with uh, Danny from Ninja Sex Party. I've played you them before, right? Yes, played, many times. Played them for you. Many before. times. Yes, many, many <laughs> times. Uh, rumors about, like, he might have been a pedophile and stuff, but he's not uh, because he put out a statement and uh, the worst he does was, like, everything was between consensual adults. Like, the worst of it was just, like, morally wrong Morally I'm not, I'm questionable. Not, morally questionable. Not That's even the best, like barely. I don't wrong. know what it. I don't. I don't know what he did because I, I don't keep up with it. But yeah. the thing is, I'm not going to speculate on mm-hmm. it. I won't say if something's morally wrong, but if other people say it might be, then I'm going to call it morally questionable. Right. Because you know that's just kind yeah. of everyone has their own moral compass. But I get I get my uh, my information on this from Eli, mm-hmm. and he, what I've heard from him, and I could be wrong because game of telephone everything changes every every time you say something Mm -hmm. but um back in maybe 2016 or 17 uh danny was doing he he he, uh, to quote him he was becoming too much like danny sex bang Mm -hmm. where he would just like uh and again i am not judging you can judge how you want but uh he would be like having sex with groupies mm. and uh, then just, like, completely ghosting them or something. Yikes. And then, uh, but he was, like, tr- he's trying to clear it up with, uh, or whatever. Whatever. It's cleared up, in my opinion. He's I not. Mean, yeah. He's not a pedophile, which is good. That's that's the important part of yeah. that. Yeah. You nothing, know, nothing like you-know-who from he, Machine yeah. Gun Hunter. <laughs> here's, here's the most I'll say about it is... Yeah, we all make decisions that sometimes we regret later in life. Maybe that's not who we are, and it happened. But, you know, if you make an effort to clear it up and, you know, say, yeah, this happened, but, you know, I'm not that person anymore, then why why try to make it into a whole big deal? Yep. That's my opinion on Mm -hmm. it. So, glad that's cleared up, you know? Yeah. It (laughs) didn't last long. One of my favorite bands is still able to be listened to. Yeah. You know, so, they're not pedophiles. Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, not to say the other guy was, but yeah, I don't care to go into that subject yeah, that's, too much today. <laughs> yeah, that that would be a very long tangent. Yeah, way too long of a tangent, and yeah. we've already covered it. It was like a year we've, and a half ago. Yeah, we've gone on several tangents. But oh yeah, I mean we're filling our time. Yeah. so that's that's good. Yeah, we're we're definitely padding. <laughs> yeah, padding for time. So oh, yeah, yeah we. Yeah. We're doing good on time. Mm-hmm. Have plenty of time. Um, what else have you been up to? Uh, well, I moved back in with my mom right now, so yeah. that's... Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have a goal to move out on my own by November. Let's that's put good. it that way. That's good. <laughs> that's how we're going to phrase that, mm-hmm. is I'm back in with my mom. I'm going to be back out in November, hopefully. Yep. So I just, you know, trying to get things together, trying to work on myself, and I feel like that's going well, so... You know, I feel like mental health needs attention at times, and I'm working for that. So yeah, you know, we're. In, good. I feel like I'm in a good place right now. So I've just been chilling. Yeah. 
cleaning my room at my mom's house, you know, just not doing much. Trying to hang out with people because I hate being stuck there, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so. There's not, there's not, like, much to do. You have, you don't there's really have not a. not much to do. You don't, uh, I hope you don't mind me sharing this. You no, don't really have it. a room. Yeah, you have, like, no, a hallway. Well, well, I have more of a room. It's, my younger sister has basically a hallway, but. Yeah. I don't have a door to my room. Right. Is how we'll, how we'll put that. I don't have a door to my room, so. Mm -hmm. It's. If you want to borrow the gate we use for the dogs for that cat you have. No, we have a gate. We have a gate. Oh, the cat just jumps over it. Yep. (sighs) Cool, I still fucking hate cats. And you can quote me on that. Here's the thing. Fuck you. Here's the thing. I used to like cats, and then I had one. Yep. And that's, that's where we'll stop with that is, um. (laughs) Once I move out, I'm never getting a cat again. Yep. Get a plant. Well, plants, uh, well, yeah, I, I'd consider that. Plants, I mean, plants don't have consciousnesses, so. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. I don't you don't have need to, care you don't need to let them out. You don't Not need cats, to, sorry. word I can't oh, yeah. say because I think there's a dog looking. You don't need to walk them. You don't need to feed them. You just need to give them a shower. Here, have a, couple, a drink, man. Days. Yeah, it's just like, hey, you thirsty? <laughs> All right, cool. I'll see you in a week. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, plants. Yeah. yeah. And you could still and you could talk to plants. It's it might be yeah. sanely questionable, but you it know, might be who gives a shit. Here's the thing. I talk to inanimate objects anyway because I yeah. apologize to them if I bump into them. I mm-hmm. just I say, "Yeah, here you go, bud. This yeah. is your new home." You when pu- I'm putting <laughs> notebooks on a shelf. You pull full vision, you bump into a sign post. Oh, I'm oh, so, so sorry. sorry. <laughs> Flourish. <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, I love that so much. Yeah. We, we need more drunk vision. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Oh, God. That would be a whole nother tangent, though. So. Yeah, I'm not. I kind of want to go into a little bit of a tangent. Just I mean, a tiny we can. one. Just a teeny, teeny, bitty, we, bitty, bitty one. We have time. The. The. You haven't seen Falcon and Winter Soldier, have you? No. Okay. Well, it's all. It's all, it's, all, it's all over the trailers. We can watch it later if we need to, but it's oh, all yeah. over the trailers. There's going to be a new Captain America. There's a new person that's taking on that mantle. Oh, yeah. People have figured out that the casting is the name of a character who, in the comics, was an exaggerated, like, sponsored Captain America. Yeah. So he's essentially a bad guy. Or eventually, I don't know. And people are also saying, oh, what's White Vision going to do? Or... As I like to call him, albino vision. Yeah. The uh, the ship of Theseus vision. So <laughs> yeah. everyone's like, oh, what's going on with him? Mm. Oh, is this Captain America going to be bad? People are speculating. And by people, I mean... People. Matt Pat. <laughs> <laughs> are speculating that there's going to be an anti-Avengers or an evil Avengers. That would be really interesting. Which would be That really would be cool. a great way to continue the franchise. There's, a, there's an evil vision. There's an evil cap. People are saying Abomination's going to come back because people are like, oh, he didn't actually die way back in 2008. Um, what was the other one? Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, 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 Thor could turn evil, or actually, no, we know Beta Ray Bill isn't a thing. You don't know who Beta Ray Bill is. Um, Mm-mm. in the comics, there was a horse <laughs> a sort horse. of thing, not a horse, it was like a person with like a horse head. I don't know. I don't really know that much about, reverse senat- about him. Reverse Senator? But their name is was that- Beta Ray Bill. And Mjolnir. they were worthy of Mjolnir. They were able to pick up Mjolnir. Holy shit. So when Thor died for a while, I think, I could be wrong, uh, he, Beta Ray Bill, took up the mantle of Thor. And when Thor came back, I think he turned evil. And Interesting. And in one of the shots in Thor Ragnarok on Sakaar, not Sakaar, uh, you, this is... Sakar, whatever the planet was, mm-hmm. uh, um, there was a uh, head statue on the big tower of Beta Ray Bill. Oh! And people were like, oh, is Beta Ray Bill in this movie? What's going to happen? Oh, how do we... Blah, 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 blah. I feel like I remember you mentioning that to me, saying, look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's Beta Ray Bill. It's a horseman. And um, I, I think that's what you said, yeah. and I just said, okay. He could he could be part of the anti-Avengers. Um, who else is there, Cap? Um... People are saying, like, uh, no, because Whiplash died. Um, Justin Hammer might be, might still be around, and he could be 
like an evil Iron Man or something. Mm -hmm. You remember Justin Hammer, right? No. Iron Man 2. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Took he, me a minute. He could be an evil Iron Man or maybe someone else or something. Uh, um, who else? Iron Man 4, Captain America, uh, Hulk. That's abomination. Hawkeye and Black Widow. I don't know. But they, like, people are saying, oh, there's th there's things building up. There might be an anti-Avengers, which would be cool. It'd it would be, really be cool a to great see, way to... I, I really yeah. think that it'd be great. Um, it'd be an interesting way to continue the franchise. It's already done so well. Yeah. It's already done so well. I yeah. mean, WandaVision was a huge success, and mm -hmm. that's just a show. Mm -hmm. And there's only been... Oh, no, there, there has only, been There were only, what, like, one. ten episodes? Uh, nine. Nine? Yeah. yeah. There were nine. And there's also only one episode... Two technically, because one came out yesterday of uh, Talking to Winter Soldier, mm. and so far that's doing pretty well. That's good. So, well, we know the franchise is doing amazing, but yeah. there's there's so many different opportunities, so many things they could do. I'm mm -hmm. interested in seeing where it goes. I also I've also had this thing in the back of my head, like they Go accidentally um, planned perfectly, mm -hmm. because technically speaking, present day. In all these new movies and stuff, yeah, is the year twenty twenty three. Yeah, which is which is two, two years, years out from, from now. now. In case you get, in case you're listening to this four years from now, but with uh, COVID and everything, it might take them longer to catch up mm -hmm. to everything uh, because it'll take longer to film, so it'll take mm -hmm. longer to catch up. So that gap will eventually close. So present day in the in the movies will be present day with us. Mm -hmm. I, I, I really hope that's what happens because that would be a really cool, just, ah, shit. You know? Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Um, I put up a TV at Eli's the other day. Yeah. Did you know about that? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was over there last night. So yeah. I saw it. Uh, we'll sum this up with two words, roommate troubles. Oh, so yeah. we had to take down an old TV and then we had to put up a new one and God, we went out and got like, nine different types of screws yeah. and like four or five of each of those nine different types. And we went, we were, it was, it was nuts. We had to go and get another mount just to get this fucking TV hooked up. It was mm -hmm. insane. I went, I got the mount hooked up for the TV. They also wanted me to put up a shelf yeah. underneath. Oh, I remember them. Yeah. Talking Did they about talk that. about this? Yeah. Great. Cause there's, there's studs in the wall. That's mm -hmm. right above a fireplace. There's studs in this wall. And they're at a certain distance, let's say uh, three feet apart, I guess. I'm not 100% sure. They're like three or four feet apart, and the TV's right in the center. You get these studs, you follow them down, and then you say, okay, the stud will be here. So you start drilling in, or not drilling in, you start screwing in these little brackets to put up a... Uh, shelf? Shelf to put up a big piece of wood. And then you're like, all right, the brackets are in. For some reason, they're not tightening. So you pull on it, and then it comes out, and then you're like, son of a bitch. There's no there's no stud back here. So you follow uh, it, and you do the knock technique, and you check a stud finder, and yeah, then you're they, like, god damn it, what the fuck is happening? They said, they said, oh yeah, he put six holes in the wall. <laughs> yeah, I put six holes in the wall that were completely useless. Mm -hmm. Before he found the but, uh, studs. They were already going to get some putty to fill up the other two holes uh, that yeah, it'll, it'll are be pointless. Fine. It'll be fine. They'll survive. It's not like it's their it'll, place. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I mean, it's yeah. Their place. It's there's a lease, but you know, yeah. same same difference. Same same difference. Ownership's overrated. Ah, oh, my nose is itchy. Um. What else? I got mail the other day. How do I phrase this? Um, I got. Well, no, I checked the mail. Uh, at the house that I'm at, and. How do I put this? There were three pieces of mail that were addressed to a person. Not the same person. Two of them were one person. One of them was another. The first person we've never heard of, does not live here, has not ever lived here. We've never heard of their name before. And the other two pieces were for someone that was the previous owner of this house over 17 years ago. Weird? Very that's, weird. That's weird, right? It's very weird, honestly. So, I'm looking at this and I'm like... years ago. Yeah, 17, over 17 years ago, we've been living in this house. And they're like, hey, we should send mail to that guy. That's, that's like fucking... So fucking weird. Yeah. I'm, I'm curious about what it is. Yeah. Was it... It's not like 
letters. I, I think it was just like an ad or whatever. That's, but it's still weird that that, that happened. That is very weird then. But um, I also got another letter that was addressed to me mm-hmm. that said, um, it was from like the, the DMV. Mm-hmm. And it said, we may have accidentally sent your personal information to someone else. And oh, I went, no. that's not good. I should look at that. And I looked around and I was like, I, d- I guess there's nothing I can do or worry about unless something goes wrong because I had already gotten another letter from them to tell me to renew my tags. But uh, I, I'm looking at it and I'm like, this is, this is very unsettling. I don't know what to do about this, so mm-hmm. I'm just going to wait and see if something goes wrong. <laughs> so That's about all you can do with yeah. it, really. you got another 10 minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, that's just weird mail. Mail's weird, whatever. You know? Mm-hmm. I keep pressing the wrong fucking keyboard. Ah, uh, you'll, you'll survive. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, I know. Um, and also, yesterday... Oh, actually, another real quick news thing. I yeah. think... I'm not 100% sure... But I think the last episode of this season of Ruby mm-hmm. came out today. I still need to get caught up. That's yeah. something. What are you I would... on? Season four? I don't remember, man. Last time I watched it, I was hanging out here. Oh, no. We were starting season six, I think. You might we watched, be right. We watched a thing, and then I was supposed to describe to you season five and six. And then we were going to start seven. Or no. four. I, I tell you about four and five because they're garbage. I don't remember. Then we watch six, seven, and then we go to eight. Something like that. Something like that. We'll we'll we'll, we'll catch we'll up with that it out. today. We'll catch. Well, maybe today, maybe not. It depends on. I kind of I kind of really want to because I also want to watch the other. Episode. Okay, fine. Uh, we'll we'll blast through them. We'll speed okay. through them. It'll be fine. Speed run. Speed run. We're gonna speed run. Ruby. Um. Any any percent Ruby, God. Um. Uh. But uh, just yesterday, mm-hmm. I was hanging out with my two absolute bestest friends that I've known for the longest amount of time in my life. For the first time since October of 2019. <laughs> That's more than a year ago. Yeah. That's a it's, long time. Yeah, it was... How did it go? It was pretty good. It was only about, what, maybe an hour and a half that we were all in one in, in the same spot. That's so cool, But it's, it's, it's been that long. It's like, god damn. We went and got Wendy's, and we came back, and we watched... Um, some Brian David Gilbert and some Cracker Milk. Nice. <laughs> and uh, that was about it. That's then... so good. That's a good way to spend some time. And exactly. Just, just eating so and just watching shit. Just vegging out. Just ve- just veg out. Yeah. If if we had, no, I'm not gonna go into that. But, uh, uh, the last time we hung out was at, fondly enough, an NSP concert. The nice. their tenth anniversary concert up in Chicago. Did you say Cleveland? Chicago? Yeah. I did that Do it again. Purpose. Chicago. That's so funny. Um, Sorry. That just, that, right. that gave me so much serotonin. But, um, the first oh. time since then that all the three of us had hung out, um, their 10th anniversary concert featuring Planet Booty and of course, Twerp. Yeah. Nice. And, uh, it was the coolest concert that I've ever been to. And I've been to three concerts. Cool. Have I? I don't three, know, man. Four. I really want to go to concerts for just various things, because I've never really been to any really cool concert. Yeah. I went to Weird Al. I went to an ACDC tribute band in I, the same year. Let's see. I think I went to... I think I was dragged along to a Beatles tribute band once. Hmm. But it wasn't... It wasn't even really that good. Yeah. It kind of sucked. Yeah. Um, it. I did not have a good time really and it was with people from church and it was awkward and weird and Mm -hmm. um yeah i stopped going to church more than a year ago i'm not i'm i'm I'm, i don't even want to go into that so i'm not i'm not religious but i will (laughs) now i gotta tell the joke again i'll do it i've told this like nine times but uh uh uh, i keep getting the word pescatarian and presbyterian confused Mm -hmm. and i'm praying to god i can figure it out it's so good. I hate that joke, but I love it so I told that, much. I told that on a live stream last night. I told it on a live That's stream so today. Good. It's going to be uh, recorded and uh, uh, archived tomorrow. Mm-hmm. God, this is just fucking... 
It's an immortal joke. It's now. an immortal it's just gonna, joke it's just now. Gonna be it, it's the same. The joke that will survive. It's the, the exact the same kind of joke. Have you heard of this joke before? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, you I, ask me before I, I know what the joke is. I recently, um, I got the words jacuzzi and yakuza yes. mixed up. Now I'm in hot water and with, the Japanese, hot water with the Japanese mafia. mafia. <laughs> so good. I love that I love joke. That so it's much. the exact same vein as the uh, pescatarian Presbyterian. It's so good, man. It's so good. It's um. Awesome. Um, see, I could talk more about what I've been up to. Like yeah, what else have you been up to? Now that I'm thinking. Um, well, I started rearranging and organizing my room at mm-hmm. my mom's house. That's good. Haven't you been so, cleaning up your uh, bookshelf and like getting rid of books? Oh, yeah. I did that. Yeah. I, I went through my bookshelf. I ran out of space for my books because I, I had bought books since I had been not living at my mom's house. Mm-hmm. And so I had to free up space. So I got rid of some old books. Um, I... I need another bookshelf because there's still books that don't fit. So whenever I move out, I'm going to get a second bookshelf. Um, I'm going to put movies on one of the shelves, you know, just put stuff on there. So I'm going to get another bookshelf at some point. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been wanting to make a bookshelf. I set up, I set up um, the tiny TV that I had. You, you saw it before. The tiny oh, little the one TV. on the stand, like the twenty-two mm-hmm. inch one. Yeah. 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 Small not even t- not even twenty-two. It's like, it's like eighteen it's inches. Like, yeah. It's probably about 18 inches it's like, I, it's I like, got that it's like setup. the size oh, I'm not gonna I got that, that set up again with um, a DVD player so that I can watch movies um, yeah so I mean I got that set up in my room again I'm I've basically dedicated one corner it's gonna be my like just chill corner so it's in between my bookshelf and just other stuff so I'll be able to read there watch movies there whatever and I I got my beanbag chair that I had gotten when I was living in a college dorm I got that back and put that there so I'm just trying nice. to trying to make the room look nice and stuff I I got my whiteboard actually on my wall now nice. so it's not just leaning against something so and I have like goals for the next several months just written out on it so that I have them somewhere I'll see them and look at them good so I'm just I'm trying to get things organized and you know just just chilling that's nice just chilling the cat won't let me sleep uh, I'm, I, that's the other big thing. Um, my cat likes getting into things when I'm trying to sleep, so I haven't slept well in forever. Mm. But, you know, other than that, I mean, it's, it's going pretty well. Nice. Um, I went to sit down on the toilet the other day and sat down so hard I gave myself a headache. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> a mood. That's just such a mood. My God. Sorry, not to like cut you no, off. I just good. wanted to interject about... with something really oh, yeah. funny. The thing is, I'm not talking about anything important, so it doesn't matter. We're just filling yeah, time. Yeah, we're just now. vibing. We're just filling time. Just filling time, yeah. Um, I'd, I'd love to cut it short, but I also don't. Because we, like, our thing's empty, and we're not even at an hour yet. Yeah, we can keep talking. We can always um, find stuff to talk about. I have, I have a terrible, not really confession, just realization that I made the other day. Yeah, what is it? My Animal Crossing island is dog shit, and I want to reset it. Ah, yeah, well. I... I mean, I can't blame you for that. It's, I can't blame you. Like, the one thing that has kept me from doing it for a long time was uh, one of the villagers, Silvana. Yeah. I have uh, I love Silvana. huge, enormous crush on Silvana. I so love cute. her to death. She's I, so adorable. Uh, we, we've we talked so long. She's like, I was thinking about this the other day because I was like, oh, you can talk to your villagers long enough. Or not the other day, but the, the other day when that thing happened. I was like, oh, you can get your villagers to call you nicknames, and mm-hmm. then you can, like, do whatever. So we were talking one day. I had forgotten about that. And then I was like, I'd like to give you a nickname. And I was like, oh, man, I hope it's, I hope it's like a, like a, what like pumpkin it? or something. And then she was like, how about pumpkin? And I went, oh, and it was during Halloween. So it was so fucking perfect. That. And I got so excited. I was so happy. That's so cute. Ugh. Gosh. I but was, I mean. But now I have to delete her forever. <laughs> no, I mean, there's always a chance that you could get her back. If if I point. got her back, if if I got, the I mean, I base... don't know what the chances would be of that. Oh but my god, what are the there odds? Would be a chance. What are the odds Maybe. that I get Raymond, Silvana, and Cherry as my three starter villagers? I don't, I don't remember who Cherry is. Cherry is the red quick, dog see. with the. The, I still don't um, know. I, I don't think I've seen Let Cherry. me pull out my other fucking... Keyboard. Hang on. Other keyboard. We're going to look it up just so that I can see. Animal. 
Terminal Cross. Oh no, you have caps caps lock. Too late. It's too late. If it pulls up, oh. <coughs> yeah. Cherry wears a spider web t-shirt. <coughs> yeah, right. Choking. Drink some water. <coughs> I died. So. The cuteness killed me. If I may describe this, Cherry is a dog, with a uh, red dog, uh, not to be so confused cute. with Clifford. Uh, no. Uh, with a spider web t-shirt, and uh, like in. She looks like an alt girl, and it's kind of cute. Yeah. In universe. Uh, Cherry is like a band member of uh, <coughs> KK Slider's band, mm. right? So uh, I think does like music and other stuff. That's so cool. But yeah, it's really it's she's really so cool. adorable. Oh yeah. Gosh. But and you remember Raymond, right? Mm-hmm. He's the cat that everyone puts in a maid outfit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he he loves black and white. Yeah. And so you give it to him and he's like, this is perfect. And then he puts it on and then you're like, hang on. Mm. I was not prepared for this. It's so cute. Yeah. But um, I'm saving a bunch of stuff I have like. Uh, yeah. Uh, 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 like some old, like a bunch of succulent plants and all mm. my other materials that I've collected and a bunch of couches and furniture and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then I'm giving it to Eli, resetting and then taking everything out and. Before you reset, since I have a little character on your island, there are a few specific things that I want you to keep from. Oh yeah. For me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do that after the. Podcast, yeah, we but. we do that whenever, but yeah. there's just a few things I want to keep. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Um, yeah, I yeah. think. I think we're good. We're good on time. I mean, if you want to. Oh, excuse again. me. Sorry, uh, but yeah, saying. we're good on time. I'm. I've been trying really hard. This is the last thing I swear. Really hard to get. Uh, a, a guy we're talking to about making uh, making something big and important uh, for this for this channel and for <coughs> his own thing but I can't get a hold of him oh no I, I keep getting a hold of him but he's like oh, I got work or I gotta go and get drunk with my friends or I I know who it is now you, yeah you know who it is but I gotta I'm, we're trying we're trying to get him on here so we can get him to talk about it mm-hmm. hopefully it's like next week or something but We'll look into that, but for yeah. now, uh, this has been the Larg Boy Small this has Boy been the Podcast. The Boy Small Boy Podcast. <laughs> so, um, thanks not for really. In. It's been the Stargazer Podcast. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we'll see you next week. Check out um, Eli and uh, myself on our personal channels called The Hunter and Home. That's a weird product placement that doesn't feel natural. Whatever. That sounds fine. Check it out. Keep updated. Come back. Live life. Have fun. Live life. Don't die. Yeah, sure. Live. Live fast. Die old. I don't know. I don't know ever. Whatever. Goodbye. Bye.